These little robots are small but powerful and pretty dangerous looking. It looks a bit like a scorpion, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally go that was our design. 60 students from nine different schools have spent two days this week building new and wild creations at CPIT as part of a robotics boot camp. We've been designing and building robots, VX IQ robots, for a robotics competition that could be happening at the end of the year. And um, they've got teams that they've been put together in and they've had to come to solutions that are totally unique and innovative. New Zealand isn't new to robotics. The national team has been the world champions of VIX Robotics for the last six years. Now these students are working with the VIX IQ Kit, a powerful robotic system that helps to inspire students through robotics competitions. Well, VIX is huge in New Zealand. We've got 96 schools involved. There's over 105 teams around the country and it's growing all the time. The students were set a challenge and there was carnage on the floor. We um, made this for a game that we're playing. We have to get balls onto a, um, into a um, kind of like a hoop kind of thing. It's a competition to inspire passion for science and technology in high school students. And we're doing that by creating a field of dreams and that's what the kids really enjoy. There are lots of new skills for the students to learn today. It's quite hard to control. Yeah. You've got to get used like, to it. Yeah. St Joseph's School took out the top prize for design. The scorpion is a menacing looking claw bot. Yeah, we were like the first team finished because all of us build Lego. Yeah. And so we kind of knew, so we added lots of creative stuff. The hope is that the best of this group will compete in a national competition this December and the world's in April next year. So we could get, potentially get a team from the South Island up to that stage would be fantastic. It was a fun school holiday program but proved to be a great way for the students to develop skills as they continue their learning journey as the next generation of robotic engineers. Marcus Gibbs, CTV News.